This may be the last attack for First Battalion Black Watch. Let us make sure it's as good as anything we've done in the past. And it's one that we can be proud of. It has toured across four continents, been seen by almost a quarter of a million people, won 22 International Theatre Awards and is set to go to San Francisco and Seattle later this year. But now, the National Theatre of Scotland's Black Watch is coming home. As the hit play returns to Glasgow's SECC for a two-week run, we spoke to actors Scott Fletcher, Richard Rankin and Stephen McCall about their experiences at the front line of Scotland's must-see play. Forward the 42nd! <laughs> Scott, you've told us before that Black Watch was kind of your inspiration for becoming an actor or for deciding to become an actor. It was, I, uh, the f I was actually at the very first ever performance of Black Watch at the Fringe and uh, because my brother was in it, I was interested in theatre, I didn't go to theatre a lot, I hadn't done a lot of acting but um, it was seen that there was something very special about the, the first, being there at the first ever performance, you knew that the play had legs, um, and I knew that um, the guys looked really cool on stage, and that's what I wanted to do. When I was 17, I knew it. So all these years later, well, seven years later, you've you've managed to actually be in it. You've been in it, been part of the play for two years. How does it feel? Do you have those moments where you're actually convincing yourself that this this is what you're doing now? Ah, it's it's weird. Um, since since when I went to drama school, through drama school, I was doing scenes for Black Watch, and I was. Um, I loved the play, I was always reading it, doing speeches, seeing if I could um, get additions for it. It was never happening, they were never recasting, but um, as soon as I knew, I heard that they were they were recasting, um, I jumped at the chance and uh, I was so glad that I got the part because uh, I've had a great time doing it, it's brilliant. You've, um, you've been part of the show since 2010, so given that you've been with it for that length of time and that you have been to America and that you have been to South Korea, what have the differences kind of in reaction been from from country to country? Do you know the show feels very different depending on where it is. It, it, it can change so much that it feels like you're doing sometimes a completely different show. Just because when you're taking over the states, um, we we have to make some rather big adjustments to the show, the pace, the tempo of the dialogue. We need to change a lot of the lines um, so that the Americans can understand it. We basically, we try and cater to them a bit more because if we went on and did it the way we're going to do it in Glasgow in a week's time, which is very fast and, you know, very kind of, there's a lot of nuances in it that, you know, the Glasgow audience are going to pick up on and they're not going to have to interpret, they're not going to have to say, oh, you know, what does that word mean, for example? So it does change a lot in that respect, which is great. Um, it, 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 Brings a different kind of le a different level to the show. It's um, it's interesting doing it in another in another country. Stephen, you're probably the only actor in Scotland that's not had a part in Black Watch or seen it up to now. <laughs> well, I was in uh, in the last tour, so you know, um, I, when when I got the part in it, I hadn't seen it, and uh, yeah, I, I'd heard so much about it. Every time it was on in Scotland, uh, I was working somewhere else. So just one of those things, I just missed, missed out the opportunity. Um, and when I got the chance to audition for it, I jumped at it, you know, I knew that, that there was uh, you know, something special about it. You don't hear people talking about a play that much if there's not something really good about it. Still hadn't seen it. And I uh, auditioned for a couple of parts in it. And, and when I got it, then I, I watched the whole thing, the, the, the televised version, which is pretty much the, the same version. And, and then I kind of, I was like, oh god, it's really hard. <laughs> it's really physical. It's the most physical thing I think I've ever done. Band of Brothers was easier than doing this, you know. It was just like, it's so physical. It's unbelievable. 